Hey, Kaf Kuba fans, Merry Christmas. I, hate, I have here a HP 6520 inkjet printer. And uh, the cartridges are half empty, but this black one has ink in it. And regardless, it's not printing at all. But it's not printing in black, which is concerning to me because uh, there's black ink galore in the cartridge. So... I've tried test prints, quality prints, uh, cleaning the vents on the cartridge tops, making sure they're clear with a needle, uh, cleaning the print head, realigning the printer all via the settings here. So what I did was I, uh, well, the first thing that happened was this cartridge was stuck under here and it wouldn't go to the access cartridge position. And it turns out that this cartridge was improperly installed and was not sitting in the uh, retaining clip properly. And it was jamming underneath here. So I had to take a butter knife and kind of push it down and uh, cycle the printer a few times. And finally it forced its way out. So it was a little bit of brute force there. But now the problem is it's not printing at all i mean ink at all so i tried this yesterday i cleaned the print heads with isopropyl alcohol and warm water by running this uh mm -hmm. printer head back and forth on the uh, paper towel uh you know I, I was playing with this thing for four hours trying to do everything that was obvious and looking online there wasn't much there there's also uh instructions for removing these screws and uh, there's a couple more screws behind the interface panel for lifting this all off and then taking apart the printer head and taking it out and doing what I'm doing now, which is giving a thorough cleaning. And that seems to me to be the route that uh, is, is the only thing that's going to fix this problem. But since I don't want to deal with this on Christmas, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm repeating the procedure from yesterday. I'm only going to leave it in there a while. And also what I do is I took some isopropyl alcohol and put it in this dropper and I put it all over the screens for the, uh, where the, for the print heads. And I'm just going to let that soak a while and, uh, I can absorb this up later, but I got that towel under there and hopefully that'll catch most of it. And it's mostly isopropyl alcohol, not a lot of water. I did put warm water on the rag in addition to isopropyl alcohol. I'm just going to let this baby sit a while. And uh, we'll see if that fixes her up. Otherwise, uh, we might be looking at a new printer. So this is the second or third time I've... I've uh, Well, it's the first time I've done it since last night. But I did it a couple times and repeated. So you can still it's, see it's still very dirty. And that's what I got out of the... This was on the bottom. And... Uh, they already the screens already look cleaner. I'm just gonna repeat this a couple times. I'm gonna flip this over and get a clean spot on it. I made some nice tie-dye paper tiles. Dried up a little with the q-tips. The screens look much cleaner. I applied isopropyl alcohol and dried it three times. And I've essentially folded that paper towel into like oh about that wide and you just have to tuck it down and kind of get it kind of like help it get the uh, printer head over the paper towel and I just went back and forth many many times I even flossed the paper towel underneath it back and forth like you would uh, use a towel to dry your uh, cajones and uh, yeah there's quite a bit of ink build up on the bottom of those cartridges so uh, or rather the, the bottom of the print head. So I'm going to let this air dry a second. Maybe do this one more time with a clean paper towel. And uh, we'll plug her in and try it out. Well, now we're going to see whether this was a complete waste of time or not. Again, I don't expect color to work. But I do expect the black and white cartridge to be okay. Let me 
me uh, give this a second. you want to do here I want to try printing a uh, status report see if any black comes out at all now if not I'm gonna go about using the uh, printer to clean the heads one more time and realign and try See if anything comes out other than isopropyl alcohol. Huh. Well, there's something. That's more than yesterday, but that's probably just bleed through from the alcohol. Let me uh, let me clean the heads and uh, realign the head via the touch screen and see what happens. Well, look at here. After two days of fucking around with this thing, I got ink out, even on the uh, cyan, magenta, and yellow cartridges that were indicating empty. Black is now showing, at least I have a square, but uh, I'm going to clean the print heads again and align the printer and uh, see if this sh shyster pushes out all that clog again. That isopropyl alcohol is probably working its way through the uh, printer heads. Now that's an improvement. Now I know what the issue is. It's not, uh, it's, it's not that it doesn't have the latest drivers. It's not that some circuit went bad. It's not the cartridges. It's not the paper. It's the filthy inkjet heads well so I've done this now several times and what little of the yellow magenta and cyan ink was in there is is quickly uh, being used up and I'm still not getting a great black uh, but I do know what the problem is now the problem is that dirty uh, print head so now that I've figured that out that I can focus on that I'm gonna get all new ink cartridges and I'll probably repeat cleaning the heads again tomorrow but at least I'm on the right track hopefully this helps everybody with the same issue